What's up everybody and welcome back to my Pokemon Black Randomized Nuzlocke. It's episode 35, my dudes! And in today's episode, we will be battling the Elite Four and by the end of this episode, we should be Pokemon League champions here in the Unova region. I'm hyped and if you guys are hyped, make sure you hit that like button for me. You guys are the best and since this is the grand finale of the Pokemon Black Randomized Nuzlocke, Let's try to break a like goal of 1,000 likes in this very exciting series finale. My dudes, I cannot believe we are here at the last episode of this series. But without further ado, I want to begin today's episode with the last and final team recap of the series. I cannot even believe that I am saying that, but I said it. It's real. We are here. It is Sunday, breaking the fourth wall, as I always love to do. It is currently 2.56 p.m. When I'm done recording this powerful finale, I'm going to head on over to my grandma's house and have a good, fun day with friends and family. But before we do that, we are here in the moment, and we are going to record this episode. So... Before I get started and I show you guys the team that we're rocking with to go and battle the Elite Four, I just want to say, if you guys missed the grinding montage, if you skipped over the grinding montage at the beginning of this episode, I highly recommend that you go back and you go check out the grinding montage because it was absolutely insane. We did so many things, so much shit happened to us. It was about an hour and 55 minutes or so condensed into a couple of minutes, so I highly recommend that you guys go check out the grinding montage. I saw a lot of comments in the previous episode telling me, Vinny, if you go and catch the Cobalion first, then you can go get the Verizion and the Terrakion as well. They were all randomized encounters. Long story short, spoiler alert, we were only able to capture and to keep one of those three legendary Pokemon. One of the Pokemon we caught, aka Hunter the Uxie, who is on the team right now, but we will uh, explore Hunter in greater detail in a couple of moments. The Terrakion, I believe, was randomized into a Heatran. We caught the Heatran, but then unfortunately the Heatran died to the hands of a Reggie Gigas. Fuck you, Reggie Gigas, for ruining something special. And then the Verizion was randomized to an Azelf, I believe, and that Pokemon we weren't even able to capture. So we caught Hunter and we caught the heat tram but unfortunately the heat tram passed away so we were left with one randomized legendary encounter from the grinding montage and once the heat tram died i was really really upset but i went ahead and grabbed ace master who was at a very low level by the way this thing took forever to train up but i went ahead and picked up the experience share also during the grinding montage and he was gaining levels with the help of the experience share i don't want to talk about the grinding montage anymore yeah there was some good yeah there was some bad but this is the squad moving forward ready to take on the Elite Four. This is going to be the Hall of Fame squad. Mark my words, my dude. So without further ado, let's jump right into this last and final team recap. But before we do that, I need to sip of some high quality H2O. Oh yeah, that's that Hall of Fame high quality H2O. It's different from the regular high quality H2O. It tastes fantastic. One thing that I also want to say before we get started, there's a lot that we have to cover in the grand finale. Cover, cover. I can speak, I can say words. I'm going to apologize in advance if the commentary is all over the place because you guys know in the final episode of a series, I am a little bit more excited than usual because I just want to become a Pokemon League champion so my mind might be a little bit all over the place but I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. This hat was sent to me by my boy, the legendary Caleb. And I just want to say, Caleb, thank you so much for the custom hat that he made for me. It's got chompers on it. And I thought, what better debut of this hat than to wear it in the finale of Pokemon Black? Because if we have chompers on our hat and in our hearts, we cannot lose. Let's do a battle cry to get us warmed up and ready to go for this episode. Eh! Oh, baby, it's going down. So without further ado, let's begin with... Andrew the Magnazone at level 54 with the Rocky Helmet. I did move around a bunch of items on the team, and I'm thinking we have the best items on the best Pokemon moving forward. So here we got Andrew, level 54. This is the highest level on the team. Now, I know a lot of you guys were saying, Vinny, go anywhere from level 50 to level 60. I went kind of in the middle to the lower side. My highest Pokemon's at level 54, and then they just get lower from here. But I think that we are in a good position to win this Nuzlocke. I have faith, I believe in the heart of the cards, and I believe in the Pokemon 
that we have on this squad. Andrew the Magnazone's at level 54, like I said, I think for the third time now, and he's got the Mold Breaker ability. Moves can be used regardless of abilities, and he's got the moves Discharge, Volt Switch, Thunder Wave, and Flash Cannon, the almighty Flash Cannon. Moving on to the newest addition to the team, we have Hunter the Uxi. I believe it's a Uxi. Yes, I mix up all three of these legendary trios, but here is Uxi, and this thing is basically a defensive wall. 122 defense, 120 special defense. It has the Intimidate ability, which lowers the foe's attacking stat, which is really nice for a Pokemon that is very defensive because he's got high defenses already, and then he goes ahead and lowers the opposing Pokemon's attack which is really nice. He is holding the lucky egg because he wants to eat up that extra experience and he's got the moves Psychic, Swift, Yawn, and Future Sight, the almighty Future Sight. And here's my game plan with this guy moving forward in the Elite Four. We're gonna send him in to eat up a hit. Then we're gonna use Yawn to put the opposing Pokemon to sleep. And then we're gonna activate a Future Sight and get the fuck out of there. And that's what we're gonna do. He is gonna eat up hits, set up Future Sights, get Pokemon to fall asleep with his beautiful Yawn. And that's what this man is going to do in the Elite Four, and he was nicknamed after one of you guys in the comments from the previous episode. So my boy Hunter, thank you so much for leaving a comment, and thank you so much for the love and support. Moving on to the next Pokemon, we got Dobbs, Dabs, whatever you want to call him, the Magmortar, the Magmortar, at level 53, who is holding the Razor Fang. He's got the Rockhead ability, which protects the Pokemon from recoil damage, which is really nice, and he's got the moves Psychic, Lava Plume, Confuse Ray, and the Almighty flamethrower, and I need a sip of water. I am so ready to go right now. The hype is building. The hype intensifies. Moving on to the next Pokemon, we got Kevin, aka Kevin Durant, the MVP of this squad. Kevin has been on the team I believe since like the start of this series, he has been on the team for so long. He's a level 53, like I mentioned. He has the steadfast ability, which raises speed each time the Pokemon flinches. So kind of a decent ability, to be honest. It's not the best, but he's got the scope lens, which should raise his critical hit ratio. And he's got the moves X Scissor, Strength, Agility, and the Almighty. Crunch! Moving on to the next Pokemon, we got Angela, a.k.a. the Doo! Gong, 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 a.k.a. Mabu at level 43. I feel a burp coming on. Hold on. Let me make Astoid proud. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, baby! That was a powerful grand finale burp. She has the Magic Guard ability, which means this Pokemon only takes damage from attacks, which is a super duper fantastic ability. She's holding the Lucky Egg because she wants to eat up that extra experience, and she has the moves. Look at this fucking move set right here. Look at the stab. Look at the one-hit KO moves. Surf, Sheer Cold, Aurora Beam, and that priority with Aqua Jet, Dugong is going to put in the finest of work. Angela, I love you, boo, and you are going to be an MVP of this team in the Elite Four. I can see it already. You are MVP caliber status. Moving on to the final Pokemon on this team, we have Ace Master. I love that nickname right there. Rough Skin Ability, which means this Pokemon inflicts damage to the attacker on contact. That is beautiful. Level 40, holding the experience share. Like I said, I went ahead and picked up the experience share in the grinding montage. Like, I'm telling you guys, we did so much in the grinding montage from just straight up grinding to getting items to catching randomized legendary Pokemon to letting randomized legendary Pokemon die. I'm sorry, I was just so salty when that Heatran died. You guys have no idea. Like, I was training him up for a while and then he died to that Regigigas, and we were so close to killing the Regigigas too. Like, I hate Regigigas. I hate all of the Regis. All of the Regis fucking suck. I hate them so much, but I'm not gonna turn this episode into a Reggie roast session. We are going to beat the Elite Four. Damn it, we're gonna do it in style. Ace Master has the moves. Wing Attack, Fly, Flamethrower, and Ancient Power. That is a powerful move set, if I do say so myself. So we also went ahead and picked up a bunch of items for the Elite Four. The one problem that we kept running into is that I don't have a lot of money. I don't have the proper funds to buy like a ridiculous amount of full restores. So right now we got two potions, one hyper potion, three fresh waters, three paralyzed heals, one max potion, one calcium, which I can probably sell at the end of this little spiel because I need more money for more full restores. We got 24 full restores. That's a mouthful right there, but I really hope that we can buy some more before we go and battle the Elite Four. That rhymed. I'm a poet. Didn't even know it. We have two Awakenings, three Antidotes, two Ice Heals, two Max Revives, which we can also sell for a pretty penny, I might add. The Ether. We have a Moo Moo Milk. We have a Max Ether. 
and that's it. So before we go ahead and battle the Elite Four, I'm pretty sure they only have like $200. I have $203. Yeah, I have, like, no funds right now. We are going to sell the max revives that we have. And we get four grand for that. That's what I like to see. And we're also going to sell the calcium because I am not going to use the calcium. And now we can use that money that we just earned to buy more full restores. Hopefully, we can get a couple of more. How many can we get? Three more full restores. That will have to do. And, my dudes, with that, we are going to proceed to the Pokemon League. It is time. I Like I said, I cannot believe that we are here. I cannot believe we are about to do this. You guys have been letting me know in the comments without spoiling me, by the way. Thank you guys so much for not spoiling the ending of this game. But you guys were saying, Vinny, you're, you gotta prepare for like absolute madness. The ending to this game is absolutely incredible and God damn it, I am ready. And I'm hoping this episode is gonna be longer than an hour of power. I don't know what it was today. When I woke up, my voice was really not cooperating. I've been drinking water all morning and now my voice is feeling a little bit better i think you guys can hear my voice does feel a little bit hoarse but i am ready for the most powerful commentary of my career are you guys ready to listen to the most powerful commentary of my career because it's going down right now it's time to read this man's dialogue it's time to battle the elite four i am so fucking hungry right now speaking of being hungry though fun fact for you guys i wanted to update you guys about the hashtag Vinny and Dobbs challenge. You guys know me and Dobbs are in a competition right now to see who can lose more weight in 30 days. Let me tell you guys something right now. I got on the scale yesterday after the first full week. Well, tomorrow will be the first full week. So I got on the scale last night and just to update you guys, I have been doing really well and I have already lost 14 pounds. So in the first week, less than the first week, it was about six days, I lost 14 pounds. Now I got some momentum going. I am not going to slow up. I'm going to keep going till I lose more and more weight and feel better and look better and everything's going to be fantastic. Tomorrow I'm starting some intense cardio training. I am really looking forward to that. And I just wanted to make sure that I updated you guys on what's going on with the Vinny and Dobbs challenge. And if you guys want to partake in this as well, definitely, definitely follow me on Twitter and follow him on Twitter as well at Ethan Dobbs and at Vinny. Follow us respectively and talk to us about your journey and we will talk to you guys about our journey as well. Listen, we're 12 and a half minutes in, probably a little bit longer than that because the grinding montage is going to be added to the beginning of this episode, but God damn it, let's get started and let's battle the Elite Four and my headphones are glitching out right now and now they sound good to go. <sighs> what voice are we going to give to this man? Allow me to bring the mic closer to my face. The Pokemon League is a place where you both pursue strength and express it. The way to express it is simple. You will just have to beat the Elite Four and the Champion. You can start your challenge by battling any of the Elite Four, and if you defeat them all, you can challenge the Champion. However, I warn you, once you start your challenge, there is no turning back. I'm loving this dialogue already. Holy shit on a stick, I'm ready to go. You must keep battling until you defeat them all or are defeated yourself. Do you want to go in? Fuck yeah, I do. Then proceed. All right, my dudes, it is time. We are going to walk in, and we are going to begin our Elite Four challenge, and this gate popped up. So it looks to me like we can walk into any room that we please and just start battling that Elite Four member. So let's start all the way to the left and work our way to the right. Let's do that. Oh, baby. That is a menacing noise right here. Let's walk across this platform. I'm going ghost right now! Danny Phantom style! Oh, this, this lady definitely uses ghost types. She has to use ghost types. Ghost or dark types? I feel like I'm in a haunted house right now. This is fantastic. Okay, it, it's time! My dudes! My dudes! It is fucking time! Alright, so who are we going to lead off with? Honestly, I think it's a good idea to lead off with Andrew, our powerhouse, our strongest Pokemon. <sighs> are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Type one in the chat if you're ready, silly Vinny. We are not live right now, my dudes. We are recording this. <gasps> Let's talk to her. My voice is definitely going to be gone by the ending of this episode. I got to make sure that I take it down a couple of notches. Fuck taking it down. This is the Elite Four. Let's raise it up. Let's talk to her. Eyes brimming with dark flame. This man rejected everything other than himself in order to bring about one singular justice. 
That's part of a novel I'm writing. I was inspired by the challenger who was just here, and somehow I got a little sad. Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? No, I'm just here to look at the beautiful scenery. Yeah, I'm a fucking challenger! Let's do this! I'm the Elite Four Ghost Types Pokemon trainer, Pokemon user, Chantal. Ooh, that's powerful. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I apologize. And I shall be your opponent. Oh my god. Oh! Baby! I can already tell the music in the Elite Four is gonna be absolutely fantastic. Did I just say music? I think I did. I'm thinking about cows. I'm thinking about milking a cow. Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to speak with this amazing music. Alright, right off the bat, we're going for a discharge. This was the perfect Pokemon to lead off with. Let's go for the discharge. This should be a one-hit KO. This should definitely be a one-hit KO. So I think we had a perfect level, a perfect position to take down the Elite Four. My dudes, I am fucking ready to go right now. I am jacked up. Next up is a Snow Runt. Okay, that thing is definitely an Ice type, which means I'm gonna go out to Dobbs, Dabs, whatever you wanna call them. How the fuck am I supposed to speak with this amazing music playing? I kind of just want to stay quiet and just dance while I battle the Elite Four today. Okay, here is a snow rut. You look like you have no arms, but for some reason you have hands. I don't know how to explain that, but we're going to go for a flamethrower. And this should be a one-hit KO. Please be a one-hit KO. Let's see. It is a one-hit KO! Down goes the snow runt, so we are off to an amazing start, if I do say so, myself, my dudes. Ace Master gets experience because he is holding the experience share. Next up is a Marie. Now, if we would have had the Heat Trand, we could have went for a super effective Earthquake. Do I have anything super effective on any of my Pokemon? I don't think I do. So with knowing that, with that knowledge at my grasp, I am simply going to stay in with Dobbs, and I'm going to go for a Flamethrower once again. It's Stab. It is not super effective. But it's coming from Dobbs, who is three levels above this thing and has ridiculously high special attack. This thing is a Mareep. It should die. <laughs> My dudes, do I feel a sweep coming? Yes, I do. Whismur is coming in. This thing is a normal type. This thing is a normal type. I'm staying in with Dobbs. Dobbs, I think you're going to stay in for the remainder of this battle and you are going to take down all of this girl's Pokemon. Whismur, how you doing? We're going to go for a flamethrower once again. I want to win this Nuzlocke so bad, you guys have no idea. The hype for the finale has been so fucking real, it has been marinating. It has been building day by day, and here we are! Do you guys like my bracelet? I stole it from my brother! I like the bracelet. Wait, we're done? <laughs> Let's fucking go! Alright, so we got six grand from that battle, and we defeated the first Elite Four member. S sorry first I must apologize to my Pokemon. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience because of me. Oh, it's not your fault. This is how battles always are. Even in light of that, I'm still one of the Elite Four. So that's it, huh? Alright, I'm gonna hop on this warp pad. One down, three to go. So let's, you know what, let's, let's stick to what I was saying. Let's go from the left to the right. Let's come through here and let's see what this is gonna be. Okay, we have a little bit of a conveyor belt here. I guarantee this is going to be a Fire-type Master, even though it doesn't matter because this game is randomized, like you guys know. This looks fucking beautiful. Like you guys already know, if you're new here, fun fact for you guys, this is the first time that I'm playing through Generation 5. I have been loving this generation. It has been nothing but fun. And here we are, ready to battle this man. That is a nice chandelier here. Let's talk to you, and let's battle the second Elite for member and this episode is not going to have any speed up whatsoever we are going to take our time with this we are going to enjoy this man oh man what's going on today challenges coming one right after another well no matter i am grimsley of the elite four and i will fill my duty to be your opponent Here we go, baby! I'm gonna burn so many calories recording this episode today because I am just fucking amped up, ready to go. So, four Pokemon. So I'm guessing the lady before had four Pokemon as well. I got kind of caught up in all the shenanigans of the battle, but here's an Armaldo. Now, what typing are you? I always forget. I want to look it up, but at the same time, I don't want to look it up. What I'm gonna do right off the bat is just straight up go for a discharge, and we're gonna see how much damage this does. So you're not a ground type, that is good. Let's see how much damage this does. It is gonna be neutral. We do get the para hacks! My dudes, things are looking up. Ancient power. We should eat that up, eat that up, eat that up, eat that right? It's not very effective. Oh, baby, we made the right choice. Leading off with Andrew once again. 
Let's go for another discharge. Oh my god, it is going down. My dudes! Let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing today. I'll tell you guys what I'm doing today. I'm gonna sweep the Elite Four, baby! No death, no problems. Victory Bell is coming in. We're sending out Dobbs. By the way, thank you guys so much for motivating me on Twitter to do a grinding montage because here's what I was thinking. I think I did the grinding montage on Fridays when I recorded the grinding montage. I was thinking, I was like, my dudes, I was telling you guys on Twitter, I was tweeting. This is how I tweet, apparently, with the keyboard right at my face like this. I was like, my dudes, I really don't want to grind. And if I do grind, would you guys be cool with me using EXP codes? And all of you guys were tweeting to me. Well, some of you guys were like, yeah, we don't mind EXP codes. Some of you guys were like, and one of you guys in particular, Mike, I'm going to give a shout out to my boy Mike, said, would Rocky take the easy way out? Would Rocky use experience codes? And I was like, this motherfucker, he's got to bring Rocky into this? My fucking idol from Philadelphia? You know what? I'm not going to use experience codes. And that's why the grinding took so damn long. Like I said, it was like an hour and 55 time. An hour and 55. That's how long it took to do the grinding. And then we condensed it, of course, with a time lapse. But goddamn, it took a very long while. But it was worth it because we did the training by ourselves. We did not use any EXP codes. And for those of you that are like, well, Vinny, what's an EXP code? It's a code that you put into the game, and then when you battle with Pokemon and you get experience, the experience like doubles, it triples, whatever, you just basically get a lot more experience so that grinding can get done easier. But kids, here's a life lesson. Nothing comes easy. In order to be successful, you gotta work hard every single day. You gotta do the best that you can do, and that's what I did in the grinding montage webcam. Focus. Thank you, my friend. All right, so we're battling this victory bell. That was a very long spiel, but I just want to say thank you, Mike, and thank you to everybody that motivated me to do the grinding without experience codes because that's just going to make this win all the more fulfilling. That's a one-hit KO. That's a one-hit KO if I've ever seen one. And you can't even say that we're over-leveled. Like, you guys were telling me, Vinny, get to level 55 with everybody. Her ugly's coming in. I believe this thing is a normal type. Is it a normal type? It's this really fat cat. I'm staying in with Dobbs. I am staying in with Dobbs, and we're going to see if we can take down this cat. But yeah, I really do apologize if my voice just straight up sounds like shit today. I don't know why my voice sounds so messed up. I really haven't been screaming much. Maybe I'm getting sick. Maybe that's what it's coming down to. Maybe I haven't been screaming too much. I scream every fucking day. That is a given. Her ugly better go down. We got the burn. We got the burn, my boys. We got the burn. This music. Okay, one more flamethrower. You might be thinking to yourself, Vinny, you're a little bit too hyper today. Let's take it down a couple notches. My dudes, I cannot take it down. Webcam, please focus on me. Please focus on me, my girl. Please. Are you focusing? There we go. Now you're focused. I really do appreciate it. Okay, I am confused, and I'm going to hit myself in confusion. That does way too much damage. Like, if we lose a heavy hitter like Dobbs or Andrew, this battle could go south. Very, very fast. Rachel goes for the full restore. I see what you're doing there, big dog. This man's name is randomized to Rachel. It's kind of powerful. I got to give it to you. Please, Dobbs, land the flamethrower. Dobbs, everything has been... Why did that do so much damage? Okay, we have to go for a full restore right fucking now. That's what we have to do. Where are my full restores at? I mean, we have 27 full restores. That should last us five battles, because we got the Elite Four, and then we got the Champion. Why do they not call it the Elite Five? I have no idea. I've always wondered that. It's like, yeah, there's the Elite Four, then there's the Champion, but, like, aren't they all considered Elite, so wouldn't it be, like, the Elite Five? This thing is gonna body us. I will not lose to a fat fucking cat. I'm going for a full restore. You might be thinking, Vinny, why are you going for a full restore? You're just wasting it. I don't want to be paralyzed. I don't want to be paralyzed. I want to heal up, and hopefully we won't be confused on the next turn. Dobbs HP was fully restored. My dude, stop going for swagger. Cut the shit. I'm honestly scared to attack because now my attack rose sharply twice. And if I hit myself, it is not going to be pretty. I'm going to switch out and go over to Kevin to take down this per ugly. We are going to let Kevin get his Hall of Fame debut right now. His Elite Four battling debut. Let's send in Kevin. The MVP body slam. We're going to eat that up. Eat that up. Eat that up. Eat that up. Yo, honestly... With this hat on my head, I cannot lose. We are going to outspeed. We do outspeed. We're going to take down this fat cat. Yo, you should be taking part in the Vinny and Dobbs challenge. You fat fuck. Get on the damn treadmill. Do any of you guys that have cats take your cats for walks? This is something that I wanted to discuss in the comments because I know not a lot of people do that, but I know some people do take their cats for walks. If you're one of those people, let me know in the comments below if you do that because I think that's like the coolest thing ever. If you're just like walking and you got your cat, 
I know some people walk with their cats without leashes because their cats are just smart enough not to run away down the block. My first dog, shout out to Rufus, my first dog, right when the door would open, like the front door to my house, he would be gone. He would fucking dart. I had to chase that dog down the block so many times. It is honestly ridiculous how many times I had to chase him. Let me know in the comments below. Your pets, do they run when they get outside or do they stay by your side? Uh, a Munch Lax is coming in. I'm going to swap out and go on over to... Let's go out to Andrew because Andrew has the highest special attack on the team and we should be able to take down this Munch Lax without any problems. I know Munchlax is bulky just like Snorlax, but I can't remember if you're supposed to hit Snorlax and Munchlax on the physical side or on the special side. We're about to find out because we're going to go for a discharge right off the bat and see how much damage that does. Munchlax, you have an adorable sprite. I love you. I want to take you out for milk and cookies like you fucking Santa Claus. I think you're supposed to attack these things on the physical side because that did like no damage. And we got paralyzed. How does an electric type get paralyzed? This is the things that I wonder. These are the things that I wonder. Going for a body slam once again. We're gonna go for a flash cannon. Flash cannon should do more damage than the discharge. I believe flash cannon, no, you know what? Flash cannon might be special. I mean, regardless, I think that did more damage. We're gonna go for a flash cannon again. And here comes the full restore. So as you guys know, I've been recording the last couple of episodes with my beats on because now I can hear my audio going through my mic, through my ears, in my headphones, which is really cool. But the music in the Elite Four is so fucking loud that I feel like I have to talk louder than I normally talk. Well, I always talk loud. That's a given. But I hope the audio sounds great for you guys in this grand finale episode. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering. You've been saying, Vinny, once Black ends... What are you going to do? Do you have a new series plan? Like, what's the story? My dudes, not only do I have a new series plan, I already have the GFX ready to fucking go. So right when I'm done with this episode, I could record the first episode of our brand new series. I don't know exactly when it's going to drop because this episode is dropping today on Sunday. Maybe the new series will drop tomorrow. I don't know. You guys are going to have to wait and see. I'm going to let the hype build a little bit and not tell you guys what we're going to play. But I think you guys are really going to enjoy the brand new series that I have prepared for you guys on the channel. And speaking of new things and stuff like that, in about two weeks on March, I believe it's March 31st. Let me just double check this because I want to make sure that I'm absolutely telling you guys the right date. Let me open up my calendar app and come over here. March 31st is going to be our second sleep lock on the channel for those of you guys that don't know what a sleep lock is but i have a feeling that most of you guys do know what a sleep lock is basically we will be doing a randomized nuzlocke live on this youtube channel and the nuzlocke can end in three possible scenarios number one we win the nuzlocke number two we lose the nuzlocke or number three we fall asleep so the stream cannot end until we do one of those three things win lose or fall asleep so this lock is definitely going to be going on for like 15 plus hours. It's going to be an amazing stream, and I hope you guys are excited about that. For those of you guys that have been on the channel for a little bit, you know we did a sleep lock of Pokemon Emerald last month, and it was literally the greatest stream of 2017. It was amazing. And my boy, Astoid, you guys know Astoid, he just finished a Pokemon Sapphire and Omega, no, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire live sleep lock and it was an amazing time i was hanging out for a little bit in there you guys really enjoyed that as well so i am really excited to do another sleep lock you might be thinking well Vinny, what game are you gonna play i'm not gonna tell you guys what game we're gonna play like i said i like to let the hype marinate i like to let the hype build and we just defeated the second elite four member and my voice is fucking killing me Gotta keep drinking that high-quality H2O. Let's read this man's dialogue. We're off to an incredible start. So far, no Pokemon have died, so that is a good thing. Whether or not you get to fight at full strength, whether or not luck smiles on you, none of that matters. Only results matter, and a loss is a loss. See? Victory shines like a bright light. And right now, you and your Pokemon are shining brilliantly. Oh, baby, that was inspiring dialogue. I feel inspired. I feel like that dialogue right there just gave me some extrinsic motivation. Is it extrinsic? I haven't, take, I haven't taken a motivation class in a very long time. 
But I remember there's intrinsic motivation that comes from within that I'm experiencing right now. And then there's extrinsic, extrinsic motivation. I got to look this up because that's going to bother this shit out of me. Because I want to make sure that I'm saying the right word. We got intrinsic motivation. Hold on. Typing this in in Google. And extrinsic, extrinsic motivation. I'm taking this back to freshman year of college. Is it extrinsic? Yes, I said the word right. Intrinsic comes from within, and extrinsic is motivation that sparks from an outside source. So I'm experiencing both of that right now. Now you guys will know, if you've ever taken a motivation class, you will know exactly what you have to say. Um, excuse me, students, what is motivation that gets triggered from an outside source? Um, Mrs. So-and-so, it's extrinsic, and intrinsic comes from within. How do you know that? You seem so advanced. My boy Vinny told me. I got you guys. I got your back, my dudes. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my god. Yo, I'm getting like a Paper Mario vibe with all these stars falling. I feel like we're at the Star Haven. Is this woman taking a damn nap? Yo, it's going down. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's not waste any time. Who are you? How impudent you are to disturb my sleep. Hmm. You appear to possess a combination of strength and kindness. Very well. Well, you just said that I was pretty much an asshole for waking you up, but now I have strength and kindness? Looks like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed there, uh... I don't know your fucking name, but you look like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed very well! Make your best effort not to bore me with a yawn-inducing battle, clear? Yo, just for that comment, I'm gonna send in my hunter and put one of her Pokemon to sleep. We're battling Thomas! Elite 4 music is so fucking good! Alright. Sending out an Aksu at level 48. So if I do remember correctly, this thing is a dragon type. So what I'm gonna do, Sandstream kicks up. I believe you are a dragon type. Oh, I did not heal. I gotta make sure that I heal in between battles. I cannot make rookie mistakes like that. We're gonna go for a Volt Switch and we are gonna get some damage off on this little adorable dragon. And we're gonna switch out to that did so much damage, and it was not very effective. We probably could have bodied this thing with a discharge. But I'm going to go right out to Angela, because we are going to go for a super effective Aurora Beam and take this thing down. Axu, one of my favorite Pokemon. So cool. Going for the Swords Dance. I see you, big dog. You want to end this fast, and you want to end this now. Too bad that's not going to happen, because we should be able to... Oh, wait a second. We're at level 43. We might not be able to outspeed. We do outspeed. That's my boo. Angela is going to take down the Aksu. And that's what I like to see right there. Angela putting in nothing but the finest of work. Do Gong, gong, gong. I really wish my voice wasn't completely shot for the grand finale. Here comes a Trico. I'm staying in. Yo, I love that like every Pokemon is going to get their time to shine in the Elite Four. Let's go for another Aurora Beam. I forgot. Oh, I forgot grass moves are super effective on us. Angela eats it up and is left with 69 HP. Giggity, giggity, goo. This should be a one-hit KO. It is not a one-hit KO. Oh, dear. Okay, uh, I gotta switch out, I think. Because if we get hit with another Giga Drain, I completely forgot that we're... See, here's the good thing about Angela. She's got the Ice-type moves. She is an Ice-type, but she's also a Water-type. So when we use our Ice-type moves on, like, super effective Mons, like the Grass-type, for example, they can also hit us with super effective moves, which is very, very scary. It's it's quite petrifying, actually. We're gonna switch out. We're gonna go over to Dobbs, and we're gonna take down this Trico. Wait a second. Don't Tricos have the Flash Fire ability? Is it Flash Fire? I can't remember if it's called Flash Fire, but I don't think my Fire-type moves are gonna work on this thing. If I remember correctly from a previous episode, I'm pretty sure that our fire attacks won't work on this thing. I don't know if that's the flash fire ability. Or, well, let me let me just see what that's called. I'm pretty sure it has it. Flash fire! I was correct! I probably should not have went for that because now this thing is going to go for an agility. But honestly, that's okay because now I'm going to go for a psychic and we're going to body this thing. But I wanted to make sure that I was saying the right thing. Just like the intrinsic and extrinsic motivation speech that I gave earlier before this battle. You're going for a slam. That is okay. We're going to go for a Psychic. Yo, we're going to win this lock. I don't think you guys understand how important this is to me to win this lock today, but it's going to happen. And then I'm going to go to my grandma's and have some healthy snacks with friends and family. I'm so excited. It's going to be a great day, my dudes. Don Fan is coming in. Okay. Take down the Don Fan. By the way, guys, I'm wearing these new sweatpants. They're Nike sweatpants. They are so fucking comfortable, and they hug the ankles really well. 
I want to go out to Angela. Here's the problem, though. Angela is at way too low health. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to let Hunter come in. And we're going to do what I told you guys Hunter was going to do. And by the way, I apologize, guys, if... If you see my fan spinning, it's because the fan is on, and this webcam is so high quality that it, like, picks up all of the shadows. Basically, it's hot as hell in my little room today, in my little studio office area, so I wanted to make sure that I didn't die of a heat stroke, so I put on my fan. So I hope the audio, the video, I hope everything looks great for you guys today. We're gonna go for a yawn right off the bat, and we're gonna put this beautiful Don fan to sleep, and then what we're gonna do... Scary face, that just lowers my speed correctly, because that's fine. As long as I'm able to switch out, I am good. Okay, you lowered my speed. So what we're going to do right now is go for a future sight. Earthquake, we should eat this up, eat this up, eat this up. Let's see. Oh, we ate that up, baby. That's what I love about a defensive wall like Hunter. That's just what this team needed. So now the Don fan is asleep. And now the future sight is going to hit the Don fan, but we are going to go out to... Do I risk this thing waking up? You know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm going right out to Kevin Durant, the MVP of this team, because I want to make sure that we win this Nuzlocke and we end up in the Hall of Fame by the end of this episode. We are going to go for an X Scissor. Now, keep in mind, even if the X Scissor does not kill, we also have the Future Sight that is going to come through and body this Don fan. That was a crit. That was a crit, and it still did not kill. This Don fan is bulky. Here comes the Future Sight. My dude, seriously, how amazing of a strategy is that? You send in Hunter, you put the Pokemon to sleep, you go for a future sight, then you get the fuck out of there. I love it. It is fantastic. Here comes a slow poke to take down a slow poke. We're going to go out to Andrew. I'm so excited right now. I'm feeling the utmost of euphoria. This is what euphoria feels like. This is true happiness. This is what dreams are made of. Ever since we restarted this series after we initially lost... I said to you guys, I'm like, my dudes, we are going to win this Nuzlocke. And now we are in a position where we can literally win this Nuzlocke. It is going down, baby. It's going down. I'm yelling, Timber! I can't yell. I got to stop yelling. How can I How can I stop yelling at a time like this? We take down the next Elite Four member. So we have one more member to beat. One more member to beat in the Elite Four. And then we take on the fifth member. Well, it's not the fifth member, because like I was talking about earlier, it's not the Elite Five. It's the Elite Four. One more Elite Four challenger, and then we battle the champion. It's going down. My stomach is a rumbling and a grumbling. I have not eaten yet today. I can't wait to have a nice salad with some grilled chicken on top. Chop that bitch up. It's going to be fantastic. You haven't faced all of the members of the Elite Four yet, have you? Don't concern yourself about me. Go on ahead. Yo, can I be so disrespectful and straight up lay in her bed? I can't. The game doesn't let you be disrespectful. Okay, that's totally fine. We are going to go and battle the last and final member of the Elite Four in the last and final episode of this series. <sighs> My dudes, like, literally, I want you all to just kick back for a second. Pinch yourselves. It's happening right now. We are here. This is the final member. I gotta make sure that I heal because I keep forgetting to heal. Let me do that right now. I can't, I can't click pause. I am on the conveyor belt. We're going up and up and away we go and away we go and up and up and up and up. It's going down. That sounded really ironic. I said it's going up, but it's going down. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going down metaphorically, but figuratively and literally, not figuratively, literally it is going up. I'm going to stop talking now. Yo, look at this boxing ring though. Oh my goodness. Yo, someone's going to fall off the edge. Like, I like how over here we're protected by these little beams, but over here we're going to fall off the edge. I'm going to stop rambling. Let's battle this man. Greetings, challenger! My name is Marshall. Marshall Mathers? Slim Shady? Oh my god, remember Slim Shady? Can we take a moment to just reminisce on our fallen comrades? If I'm able to access a PC after the Pokemon League, we are definitely going to go into the death box and just pay tribute to all of the powerful dead mons that are chilling in the afterlife. Greetings, challenger! My name is Marshall. In order to master the art of fighting, I'm training under my mentor, Alda. My mentor sees your potential as a trainer and is taking an interest in you. It is my intention to test you, to take you to the limits of your strength. Kya! I can't help but dance! Yo, look at this man. He looks like a Dragon Ball Z character. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. I love your pants, but why do you have no shoes on? Four Pokemon as well, so all the Elite Four have four members. That is awesome. Here comes a Badoo. I forgot to heal again! Motherfucker! I keep forgetting to heal! Yo, we are too savage right now. We are too savage. All right, I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch right off the bat. 
We're going to see how much damage that does. I know it's going to be not very effective, but we're going to go right out to Dobbs. It does a decent amount of damage. Now, there's nothing uh, Badoo can do to Dobbs, right? There's there's nothing. I'm going to send it in. Can you imagine if this thing goes for, like, a skull or, like, a water pulse or Stone Spore? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to heal this turn anyway, so we will be able to get back up to full health with a full restore. And we will be able to get rid of the status problems that we have on our Pokemon. So let's go for a full restore. And let's heal up Dobbs. Thank you so much, full restore, for healing up my Pokemon. I was going to say for healing up my balls, but you are not Nurse Joy. You are simply an item. I saw water and I immediately had a panic attack. Don't worry, it's only water sport, I believe, that was the move that the Badoo used. We're going to go for a flamethrower and we're going to take this thing out. We're going to put this thing out of its misery. My dudes, like, it's going down right now. Like, honestly, I feel like we could have did this if we didn't grind. Like, I feel like we had a chance if we didn't grind. But you know what? Like my mama always says, it's better to be safe than to be sorry. Let's see here. Ambipomp. <sighs> Why do Nuzlocks always do this to me? Why do randomized Nuzlocks always take my fallen comrades and send them against me in a battle? Why Why do I have to fight Tommy right now? Why? Why, Sway? Why? Listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. Tommy's going for the nasty plot, which I appreciate. But unfortunately, I don't think you're eating up a flamethrower, Tommy. I really don't think you're eating up a flamethrower. I mean, maybe you'll eat it up. But we are at a higher level than you. This should be a one-hit KO if I'm thinking proper. It's a crit. It's a crit. I was going to say, if I'm thinking properly, but that crit probably mattered. I don't know. Do you guys think that crit mattered? Let me know in the comments below. Holy shit. And like I do at the end of every series, the question of the day, I think, is almost always the same. I want you guys to tell me what has been your favorite series on the channel so far. What has been your favorite series? Comment down below. Let me know. And we'll have some nice discussion about that. I cannot wait to start the brand new series. It's going down, my dudes. You're going to love it. Here comes a Parasect. Yo, it's me. I'm going to stand with Dobbs to take down this Parasect. And we already know that Alder is the champion in this game. So that's no surprise. So we are going to battle Alder. And I cannot wait to see what randomized Pokemon this man has on his team. We're going to take down the Parasect. Yo, we are straight up dominating right now. We are dominating. Here comes an Altaria. Okay, to take down the Altaria, I want to go out to Angela, but she is not at full health. So let's go out to Kevin first and foremost. Honestly, Kevin should be able to take down this Altaria by himself. Like, <clears throat> Kevin is ready to go. Why do my headphones keep messing up? Hold on. Let me fix the wire. There we go. For some reason, it was only playing out of my left headphone for a second. We're doing good now. Let's go for a crunch. I was going to go for crunch. Let's go for the X scissor and see how much damage that does. It's not very effective. Cotton Guard. Oh, no. What does that do? That raises something. What does it raise? The defense rose drastically. Okay. Um, let's go for a crunch. See how much damage that does. This should be neutral. It is... All right. No, 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 no. We are not playing these games right now. No, we are not. Okay. Uh, Andrew, get out here, please. We're not letting this thing set up. We're not letting this thing set up. You might be thinking, Vinny, why are you going out to Andrew? Andrew's stab electric attacks will be not very effective on this thing. Hear me out. I got to hit this thing with my most powerful attack. <laughs> it's all fun and games until the Altaria sets the fuck up. Let's just go for a discharge. No, no, this is not happening. This is not happening. Please, please. We need this to do a lot of damage. Now, your defense was, was, it went up, but your special defense did not go up. Please do a good amount of damage. I know it's, oh, it's neutral. Yes! It's neutral because you're flying and dragon. Oh, my God. See, that was too close for comfort. I, I was, I was shaking in my boots. I'm not even wearing boots. I just got my socks on. That could have been a disaster. I know a lot of you guys were probably yelling at your screens. That could have been a fucking disaster. Now, you have become the strongest trainer in this Pokemon League. The statue in the central chamber will take you to the champion's room. We, the Elite Four of Unova, are sworn to follow the champion's order to be neutral. So the rest is up to you. I think I completely changed his voice from the beginning, but it's okay because we defeated this man. Yo, why do I keep forgetting to heal? Let me heal the fuck up. 
Before we battle anybody else, we have 23 full restores left. Let's heal up the squad. Why did I use a full restore on that little sliver? Sliver or slither? It's sliver. That little sliver of health on our MVP, aka Kevin Durant. How do we do this? Do we click this button? Oh my lord. This is so powerful. Where do I go? Look how big this arena is! Oh, baby! Yo, Gen 5 is nothing but power. I love you. I feel like fucking Rocky! I am Rocky! Na -na -na! Na -na -na! My voice is so fucked up. I need to drink some tea and honey after this. Oh my god. I am literally Rocky. I am Rocky Balboa. That is going to be the name of this episode. Let's come through here. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Who designed this place? Please, I need to meet the architect. So we got N and Alder. It's over. Never again will Pokemon be made to suffer or be held captive by humans. It's all thanks to my friend, Zekrom. You may have the title of champion, but you can't stop me with just a title. Your soft heart has left you weak. Years ago, you lost your Pokemon, your partner, to sickness. In order to forget the pain in your heart, you wandered, Unova. Who knows how long it's been since you've had to fight with your full strength. I actually kind of like that about you, though. As a trainer who far outmatches the champion, I shall issue an order across Unova. Trainers of the world, free your Pokemon. I'll beg you! Separating people from Pokemon, do anything but that! You and I both put our beliefs- I have such an itch on my nose right now, it's fucking unbearable. I both put our- well, let's start that dialogue over, I completely butchered that. You and I both put our beliefs on the time, on the line, and fought with all our strength, and I won. Do not say another word. And I've been waiting. In the future, I envisioned you obtained a stone, and indeed you have. The Lightstone. Zekrom is responding to it. Stop! This is not a suitable place for the legendary dragons. From the ground up, rise up the castle of Team Plasma. Surround the Pokemon League. Yo, what the fuck is going down right now? WHAT IS GOING ON RIGHT NOW?! <laughs> Yo, look at the lightning in the sky! This man built a damn castle... ...underground of the Elite Four! Looks like a nice hotel complex, I gotta say! I would love to stay there! I apologize for the lack of commentary. This is fucking amazing. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Ah! Yo, this music right now! What has just appeared is Team Plasma's castle. The king's words will resound from the heights to all below. You must come to the castle as well. Everything will be decided there. Whether Pokemon will be liberated from people, or whether Pokemon and people will live together. We will see whose belief is stronger, and our result will change the world. Yo, you guys were not kidding when you said this ending is gonna be fucking insane. Mr. Alder, you're a wreck. It's not fitting for the champion. You did well to get this far. Somehow, I beat the Pokemon League, but it wasn't easy. Ugh, I have to congratulate you. I become stronger because I understood what I want to do. Vinny, tell and this. Some people grow stronger by being with Pokemon. My Pokemon and I are proof. Together, we learned and became stronger. I... I lost. I feel a burp coming on. I think it went away. I should have been able to demonstrate the bond between me and my Pokemon. That would have shown that brat the worthlessness of his outrageous dreams. 
So, his convictions were the real thing. Be careful. The ones who change the world are always the ones who pursue their dreams. Vinny, I ask this of you. Even if Pokemon and people are separated, nothing good will come of it. Please let him know that. Alright, my dudes, it's time. It's time, so we don't have to battle Alder. I'm guessing we have to battle N once we come up here to the Team uh, Plasma Castle. Yo, I just want to rap right now. This fucking music is amazing. Ah! Ah! I can't help but grunt. Alright, let's come inside. Those in accord with fate are preserved, and those who rebel against fate perish. When the way is forgotten, duty and justice appear. One can lose the forest for the trees. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, that is a second mistake. Superior men understand what is right. Inferior men understand what will sell. There are not two suns in the sky, nor two sovereigns over the people. Well, if anything should happen to our king, it would be disastrous. It would ruin Ketsis' perfect plan. Our Lord N will be disappointed. Here comes the fucking itch again. But the six of us shall defeat you here. Can you manage that? Who that is? It's my boy Clay! Still standing, are you, Vinny? Hell yeah, I'm still standing. You! Your drift fails! Huh! Ain't just me! Yo, our friends are coming to our rescue! Let's fucking go! Oh, I love this music so much. This is like the OG Pokemon music right here. So sorry, not only are we stronger than you, but there are a lot of us. Accursed gym leaders! It's the gym leaders! This game is too much. This game is wild. Ignoring Team Plasma, that would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do. Bianca asked us to come too. Okay, Bryson's like red. He has not much to say. I'm fine. Don't worry. No need to worry. Holder of the Lightstone, please proceed. Wh where are we supposed to go, though? I don't have a map of this area. Yo, this is crazy. All right, let's explore a little bit. Anything over here? No, just a nice, beautiful pillar. This game is insane. This game is insane. This game is amazing. Okay, let's come up here. Okay. Now there's multiple doors. Come! Giggity? Who's this? In this castle, you may rest your Pokemon and access your PC. Fear not. First, you have your Pokemon rest in that room. When they are healed, it is our Lord N's wish that you be moved to the innermost part of this castle. Okay, so we can come in here and heal up the squad. And there's a PC in here. I am Anthea, trainer. Before you go confront my Lord N, please take a moment to rest. Well, at least they're kind enough to give us that beautiful hospitality and let us heal up our balls. Ah, good. Both you and your Pokemon regained energy. Trainers battle to practice their skills and to grow in experience, but never to hurt their Pokemon. My Lord N has realized this deep down in his heart, but he has spent too much painful time here in this castle to admit it. I am Concordia. That's a powerful name. That was one of my nicknames in high school, Concordia. I give peace and confront to N. N has been separated from people since he was young. He was brought up with Pokemon. Pokemon that were betrayed, mistreated, and hurt by bad people. Gets has deliberately brought only those poor Pokemon closer to N, and was touched by their plight, and started pursuing his ideals, thinking of only Pokemon. N's heart is pure and innocent, but there is nothing more beautiful and terrifying than innocence. Okay, where the PC at, though? Where the PC at, though? What is this? Okay, apparently there's no PC, but you got this little area. Apparently we can't go in there, we can't sit down at the beautiful table. But our Pokemon are healed, so that is a good thing. Now we have to go to the innermost part of the castle. What are in these rooms right here? Let's come inside. You got some Team Plasma Grunts. You got a Pokeball over here. Okay, we got an Ultra Ball. That's cool beans. Definitely some cool beans. So let's just explore all the areas uh, that we can 
see if there's more items that we can pick up. That was the Pokemon Center room. I'm using the speed up button. I apologize. I really don't mean to. I'm just really excited to battle N and see what this man is going to have at his disposal. Nothing in here. I could talk to the Team Plasma Grunts, but no. We are going to go to the innermost part of this castle. And we are going to try to become... I mean, we're already... We're not the champion yet because we haven't battled the champion yet. But N beat the champion, so technically he is the champion. So we got to see if we can defeat this man. This is absolutely insane. What is this? Let's talk to you. Ah, I would dear wanderer. Are you surprised? This castle is the hub of Team Plasma's... No. Getsis of the Seven Sages scientific capability. A manifestation of knowledge. That is intense. Anything in the trash can? The trash can is empty. Ha ha! Now we can infiltrate the Pokemon storage system inside every trainer's PC. If our king wills it, we can steal every Pokemon stored in a PC box and release them all. That's actually insane. Is this a PC right here? It is a PC. So before we do anything else, let's come into the storage system and let's check out all of our dead Pokemon and let's pay respects to all of our fallen comrades in this series because I have a feeling once we defeat N, once we take care of everything here in this castle, we're going to be at a title screen. So I want to make sure that we pay the proper respects to our fallen comrades and we are almost an hour into this episode, which is absolutely insane. So here we have Igglybuff. Now, Igglybuff we really did not use on the team for too long, but Igglybuff is here, and Igglybuff did put in some work. You know what? Igglybuff really didn't put in any work, if I'm thinking correctly, but Igglybuff is here. Igglybuff was a member of this team, so she deserves the proper respects. Well, he deserves the proper respects. Frank the Igglybuff, Sally the Lillipop. Again, these two Pokemon, I really don't remember them doing that much, but there's still a spot in my heart for them. Next up, we got Matt the Coughing, who... Matt was a powerful mon. Clear body ability, gentle nature. Next up, we have Empoleon. Jordan the Empoleon. Now, I remember this was like the first Pokemon that we lost that really just took a stab at my heart. I miss you, Jordan. You were nothing but power. Next up, we got Chicka Chicka Slim Shady the Heatmore. This guy was nothing but power. I'm gonna miss Slim Shady. We had Alyssa... The Makuhita, who did not last very long, but was very powerful. We had Trubbish, Leo, the Trubbish. We had Roserade, uh, Antonio, the Roserade, coming straight from the Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. We had Roscoe, the Marshtomp, who never got to become a Swampert, one level away from evolution. We had Jasmine, the Fungus. We had Irene, the Pinsir, Cleffa. Diana, also known as Cleffa. I'm having trouble looking at the nicknames and looking at the Pokemon names. Diana the Cleffa. Salad, remember Salad? Oh! Salad was so powerful. The Raichu. Then we had Tommy, of course, our starter Pokemon, the Ambipom. We had Swana. I loved Swana so much. The evolved form of Ducklet. This was our flying and surfing Pokemon. And then we had Heatran, like I said, who died in the grinding montage. But my dudes... We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 deaths. And that will be the last of the deaths because we are not going to lose any more Pokemon in this series. This episode will not have any death. I guarantee that. Let's pay some respects to our fallen comrades. Let's come through here and see what's going on in this room. So here's another Pokeball. We found an RSVP mail. Not too thrilled about that, but what I am thrilled about is this, like, this ending sequence is absolutely amazing. Like, this is very unique for a Pokemon game, and I am really enjoying myself. Let's come through here, and are there any more Pokeballs? No. Can we walk through here? We still can. So I'm guessing you can't go through that area at all. Let's come outside, and let's head up these steps over here. Okay, here's this ninja again. A battle between you and our Lord N will reveal whether or our Lord N is an ideal hero. I can't fucking read. I'm so excited. It will also reveal how you feel about protecting the current world where people live with Pokemon. Okay, here we go. Now, can we surf across here? No, we can't. Let's come upstairs. I have a feeling we're about to battle this man. Here comes the ninja. That's the room. That's it. That room was the world... What? Wait, I can't read right now! God damn it! Focus, Freddy! That world was... That room was the world, motherfucker! That was provided to our Lord N. 
Okay, let's go inside. I don't feel anything even when I go into the room. But you may feel something. Yo, it's like the room of spirit and time, aka the hyperbolic time chamber. This looks like a little kid's toy room. Very interesting. Okay, let's come over here and grab this item. Okay, we got a balm mushroom. Uh, cool beans. Where am I supposed to go? The panel has a dark, a dart stuck in it. Can I remove the dart? The toy box is full of new toys. An art panel with a printed geometric pattern. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do right now. The toy box contains pieces of a train set. Do I have to do something with this train? It's a set of train tracks. Has it been played with recently? I don't think so. It's a basketball that looks like it's been used a lot. It says Harmonia. Harmonia on it? A skateboard is resting on a pile of wheels. Uh, my dudes? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in here. Literally, I have no idea. Um, I'm just trying to, like, touch around the walls just to see if there's, like, a secret switch. Where is N? Where is this man? I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do we have to come outside and come back in, maybe? Is there anything on the right side? Okay, there are more rooms that we can explore. So let's see. Let's come over here. That was really creepy in a way. Like, yeah, it was an adorable little kid's room, but like in this castle, why would there be an adorable little kid's room? Could somebody riddle me that? I mean, let's keep traveling. Let's come up here. Okay. Is there any items? No items in here. Maybe I should be talking to the grunts. Maybe that will give me a hint on where I'm supposed to go. Let's come up here. And let's see what's in this room. Okay, here comes Getsis. I believe this is Getsis. And let's see what he has to say. Welcome, it is Getsis. Holder of the Lightstone. The castle that appeared as if it were enveloping the Pokemon League is a symbol. It means you know what will change. The king of this castle is the strongest trainer in the world. He is accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He has defeated the champion. Added to that, his heart burns with the, with the desire to improve the world. There's way too much dialogue in this episode, I gotta say, but I'm doing a pretty good job if I do say so myself. If that's not what makes a hero, what more do you need? Now that the stage is set, we can seize people's minds and hearts. We can bring into being the world that I know that Team Plasma desires more easily than you can imagine. We and only we will use Pokemon and we shall rule the powerless populace. Populace? Populace? I said populace, it's populace. I've been waiting so long for this. I've kept my silence so no one could piece together what I planned. Now those po painful days are at an end. Go onward. Discover whatever, whether you have what it takes to be a hero. Holy fuck, I am butchering this dialogue like it's my job today. So let's come through here. This water looks beautiful. Yo, it's time to battle this man. Are you guys fucking ready? Because I am fucking ready! What I desire is a world for Pokemon and Pokemon alone. I will separate Pokemon from people so Pokemon can regain their original power. Original 151? <laughs> it's time to settle this once and for all. My determination is absolute. I will prove the value of my beliefs, even if it means my Pokemon friends get hurt. Since you've come this far, I believe you are equally determined. If that's so, prove it to me! Show me the depth of your determination. My dudes, it is time to battle this man. I am fucking ready right now. I hope you guys are ready as well. More dialogue. God damn it. You came all this way to battle me. But Reshiram is not responding. You haven't yet been recognized as the hero, have you? How disappointing. I actually kind of liked you a little. Though our many battles... Through our many battles, I got the feeling that you might be a trainer who truly cares for Pokemon. Bitch, you don't know me. You know I care for my Pokemon. But I was kidding myself. The idea of trainers getting to know each other through battles is ridiculous. You have two options. 
Challenge me to a fight you can't win or leave this place and watch the birth of a new world where Pokemon are free from people. Or free of people, for that matter. Zekrom, come to me! Yo, there's so much going on in today's episode. This is what a grand finale should be! This man! I'm gonna fucking pass out. I'm gonna fucking pass out. Super Saiyan Blue! <laughs> Yo! This man is real! Now I'm wondering if this thing is gonna be randomized. Oh. My God. Is it time? What's going on? Oh, oh god, here comes the other dragon! The Lightstone. It's trembling inside the bag. Yeah, you better back up, boy! Your Lightstone is... I mean, Reshiram is... The ordinary old stone! <laughs> this game! The music just stopped! The Lightstone draws in the aura of the surroundings and converts it into a powerful force, which is now being released. There ain't nothing ordinary about this stone! This is the greatest finale of all time. This is the greatest finale of all time. What is this game? It's powerful, that's what it is. Zekrom and Reshiram, they were once one life Pokemon! They were once one life, one Pokemon! Complete opposites yet the same. I don't understand how that makes sense. Zekrom and Reshiram are Pokemon that appear before the hero they recognize. I see, you truly are a hero too. You really are a hero too. I'll tell you what Pokemon is saying to you. I want to battle with you. Try to make me your friend and ally. It plans to test you to see if you are really pursuing truth. I also am curious to see how powerful you are. Now catch Reshiram and make it your ally. I should have kept the damn Master Ball. Is this going to be randomized? Wait, how many balls do I have? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, please tell me I have balls. Please tell me I have balls. 22 Ultra Balls. Is that going to be enough? I hope it's going to be enough. All right, let's put this son of a bitch to sleep right off the bat. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be randomized. I don't know if this is going to be a Lugia. I am fucking ready, though. I think it's randomized. I think it's randomized. It's a Jirachi! Yo, it's Yermit! It's Yermit! No, Yurgurt! I'm sorry, Yermit was the Porygon, too. Yurgurt was the Jirachi. All right, let's try to catch this thing. Let's go for a yawn right off the bat. Oh, no, it has double edge. That does recoil damage, doesn't it? That does recoil damage, doesn't it? Oh, this thing is going to be hard to catch. I should have saved my damn Master Ball. But I would have loved that Heatran on the team. Unfortunately, the Heatran died. All right, let's go for... Let's switch out, actually, to weaken this thing down. Let's go out to Angela to take down this Jirachi. Yo, I can't believe it's Yurgurt. I can't believe I called it Yurmit. I'm mixing up my Pokemon nicknames. If we catch this thing, we are going to nickname it Yurgurt. Yurgurt is coming back, my dudes, from... I believe we had Yurgurt in the Pokemon Glazed Nuzlocke. If you guys have never seen that series, definitely go make sure you check it out because it was an amazing series. This Jirachi is asleep. We are going to go for a surf. Yo, I did not see, like, any of this happening in, like... I knew that, like, all of the story with N and all that had to be resolved, but I thought we were going to do the Elite Four and then take care of that, like, after we're done being the champion and all that. Like, I can't believe that we're doing this right now. This is kind of wild. Let's go for an Aurora Beam. This is insane. I cannot believe this is going down right now, but I'm thinking what's going to happen is either we kill this thing or we catch this thing, and then we have to battle N, which is going to be an epic battle. I can't wait. This thing woke up. 
It went for a double edge. That's going to hit this thing with recoil. Can you please not do this right now, Jirachi? Can you please not do this? I want to catch you. I really fucking do. Let's go for the surf. Okay, now I got to go back out to Yuxi, aka Hunter, and I got to put this thing back to sleep. It's exactly what I have to do. It's what I have to do. I got to do it right now. Here comes Hunter, and it's two tails. Activates the Intimidate, which is good. Okay, now let's go for Yawn. Did that thing have Wish? It goes for Gravity. I really hope it doesn't have Wish, because then it's going to heal itself. I do not want this thing to heal itself. We're going for the Yawn. You will fall asleep on the next turn. Let's go for a Psychic. Psychic should not do, like, anything to this thing. You're going for a Double Edge again. You are going to get hit with Recoil Damage, but you will be asleep the next turn. All right, let's see how much damage Psychic does. Decent amount. Now you're asleep. Okay. Okay, this is good. Let me go for one more Psychic. This should not kill. Please stay asleep. I just want to get you down to a sliver of health. Okay. I'm going to start throwing balls. You're asleep. We have 22 Ultra Balls. Can we catch this Jirachi? Can we end this finale the right way by catching this randomized legendary Pokemon? There's no way we're going to catch this thing, is it? There's no way we're going to catch this thing. These are the moments where I wish I had my Master Ball. Like I said, I wanted that Heatran for the Elite Four. I had no idea that the Heatran was going to die in the damn grinding montage. <sighs> Man, this thing is not even shaking. The problem is, we're probably not going to be able to even use all of our balls because this thing is going to wake up and keep going for Double Edge, hit itself with Recoil, and it's going to kill itself. So maybe we can get, like, really, really fucking lucky. Oh, no, this is just Zen Headbutt. Okay, we should eat this up, eat this up. Okay, that's kind of scary. I was a crit. That's why I did so much damage. I'm going to go for a full restore right now on Hunter because I don't want Hunter to die because Hunter's been putting in nothing but the finest. Gravity again. How much PP does Double Edge have? I really hope it does not have a lot. Let's go for it. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die, Jirachi. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Don't go for Double Edge. You know what? It could probably go for one more Double Edge before it falls asleep. Okay, I'm going to go for a Yawn again. I don't want this thing to die. So Double Edge should not kill it. Do not die, Jirachi. Do not dry. Dry? Do not dry. Stay wet. Stay wet. What does that mean? I don't know. Okay, good. It's asleep now. Okay. Now we can throw a couple more balls. I meant to say, don't die, not stay dry. What am I saying? Stay dry? Stay alive? I don't know. I got thoughts all over my head. This finale episode is wild. Just please stay in the ball. That's all I want to happen. Please. Please stay in the ball. One. Two. Three. Did that? Just happened! Janine! We just caught the randomized restaurant! I can't believe that happened. We have had such bad luck catching randomized legends in this game. Like, I honestly cannot believe we just caught this thing. Fuck yes, we caught Yurgert, the return of Yurgert. And you guys already know we are gonna nickname this thing Yurgert, the return of this man! Yurgert will be sent to the PC. I cannot believe we actually caught that. I cannot believe it. Add Jirachi to your party from the box. Fuck yes. Okay, so which Pokemon are we going to swap out? Okay, now we already have Dobbs as our fire type, so I'm going to get rid of Ace Master. So Ace Master is going to go to the box. Jirachi is going to come to the party. Hold on, your Pokemon are hurt. There is no triumph to be gained in battling a weakened opponent. Thank you, Anne. I really do appreciate that, brother. Now, I will create the future I desire. I shall sweep you before me. Here we go, baby. Here we go. This is it. This is it. It all comes down to this. The final battle. He has six Pokemon. We are battling Boss N. And he is going to start the battle off with an Escavalier at level 52. Oh my god. This is amazing. Okay. Okay, so we get the Intimidate off, which is nice. What we're going to do right off the bat is we're going to hard swap right into Dobbs. Hard swap into Dobbs because once Dobbs hits this thing with a flamethrower, this Escavalier will be no more. Oh my god, this fucking music. Wild. x Scissor. We should eat this up. We should eat this up. Okay, we ate that up pretty well. Let's go for a flamethrower. I'm predicting this is going to be a 1-hit KO. I think this thing is quad weak to fire, if I'm remembering correctly. Aren't you a bug and steel type? You might just be a Steel type. I have a weird feeling that your bug and Steel. We take down his first Pokemon. Ace Master gets some experience. Wait, how is Ace Master getting experience? Didn't we send that man back to the PC? I'm very confused. Sableye's coming in. Uh, I'm going to stay in with Dobbs. Now, Sableye doesn't have any weaknesses. 
But the good thing is he can't Mega Evolve in this game because Mega Evolution is not a thing. Mega Evolution, I can speak, I can say words. I feel like I have fumbled over my words so much in today's episode, but that is normal. It is the final episode. I am so fucking gassed up. I am so amped. Down goes the Sableye. Ace Master goes to level 43. Ace Master wants to learn Safeguard. Does the experience share work on Pokemon that are even in the PC? Because that's kind of fucking wild. That is kind of fucking wild. As long as it's equipped. Because this thing is not on the team right now. We're learning Safeguard. No, I don't want to learn Safeguard. Because check this out. I'm going to keep my old moves. I'm going to give up on Safeguard. Check this shit out. So if I go to my team, Darmanitan's coming in. If I switch Pokemon... Oh no, Ace Master is still here. I thought that the Jirachi, maybe because the Jirachi was randomized and messed something up, I thought the Jirachi was going to be on the team, a.k.a. Yurgert. All right, so here comes the Darmanitan. I'm going out to Angela. I'm going to let Angela get some action in the final battle of this series. This is so hype. I can't even believe this is happening. I can't even believe that we are fucking here in this moment. Darmanitan, we're going to go for a surf right off the bat. Flare Blitz, we should eat this up. Now, is this neutral or is this super effective? Neutral. Are you kidding me? I let my boot die! Well, it was neutral, and apparently Angela can't eat up hits. Now, granted, yes, we were, what, seven levels below? Seven levels below. I really thought she could have handled that! This fucking Darmanitan, man! I'm so mad. I am so mad. The good vibe. The good vibes? No! The good vibes were fucking flowing! I'm so mad right now. I am so mad. Is Flare Blitz gonna sweep my entire team? Can we put this fucking thing to sleep, please? Wow, that does so much damage! I can't believe I let my boo die. I cannot believe I let my boo die to this thing. All right, I'm gonna go for a full restore right off the bat. We have to heal up Hunter. We have to wait till this thing falls asleep and then we have to switch out because Flare Blitz is doing way too much damage. Do not get a crit. ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! Oh! Oh, now you're asleep, you fucking asshole! Good! Fucking good! I- I- <sighs> I did not want there to be any death in this final episode, and we lost our legendary Pokemon, and we lost our girlfriend. Oh, Kecleon, it's me. Yeah, send him in. Oh, I'm so salty right now. Yeah, yeah, Kecleon, yeah, balance on one foot. Yeah, do your thing, do your thing. Fuck you, flamethrower. Sucker punch, are you fucking kidding me? This man is real. I can't believe, that crit mattered. That crit fucking mattered, man. All right, it's okay. It's okay. We can still win. We can still win. We got Dobbs. We got Andrew. Skarmory's coming in. I'm going right out to Andrew. I'm going right out to Andrew, and we're going to do a super effective discharge on this son of a bitch. I got to pour some water from one cup to another. I cannot believe we just had two deaths like that. So close to each other, too. N is no joke, man. N is no joke. Slash, we're gonna eat that up. There is nothing that Slash can do to Andrew. That rhyme, that a poet didn't even know it. And you got hit with the Rocky Helmet damage. And this is gonna be super effective. This better kill. It does kill. Down goes the Skarmory. I gotta say, though, all, all negative vibes aside, Skarmory is one of my favorite Pokemon. Clefairy is coming in. Okay. Is this the last and final Pokemon? So it did not have the Zekrom. He did not have the Zekrom on his team. Which is definitely a good thing for us. Let's see how much damage this does to the Clefairy. We do get the Power Hacks. And the Clefairy is paralyzed and is unable to move. That is beautiful. One more discharge. You're delaying the inevitable end. You're going for a full restore and you're going for a full restore, yeah? This man. It's okay. Can we get a crit? Can we get a crit like this motherfucker got a crit on us? Can we get a crit? Can we get a crit? No crit. Another discharge? Is this the final Pokemon? I think this is the final Pokemon. Did we just beat the game? 
Did we just beat the fucking game? Tell me we beat the game. Just tell me. My dudes, we fucking did it. We beat N, and we officially won the Nuzlocke. At least I think we won the Nuzlocke. I think this was the final thing that we had to do. Zekrom and I were beaten. Your truth, your feelings, they were stronger than mine, it seems. This man, Reshram and Zekrom, each of them choosing a different hero. Is that even possible? Two heroes living at the same time, one that pursues truth and one that pursues ideals. Could, could they, oh god, my startup disc is almost full. That's not good. I gotta delete some shit really quickly, guys. Give me one second, I will be right back. Okay, my dudes, I'm back. I apologize for that. My startup disk was almost full. I had to delete a shit ton of files, but now we're back, we're good to go. I really, really hope that because my startup disk was almost full, I really hope that that did not ruin this file because in the past, when my startup disk has almost been full and that message has popped up on the screen, all of the video recording would begin to lag. So I really hope, I really, really hope, I am like praying to Arceus right now, that there was no lag towards the end of this episode. I really hope that this episode was perfect for you guys. But without further ado, let's continue. I am not gonna let the startup disc ruin my great mood because we won the game, my dudes. Could, could they both be right? I don't know. It's not by rejecting different ideas, but by accepting different ideas that the world creates a chemical reaction that is truly the formula for changing the world. Indeed it is. I agree with that statement. Yo, is this game not over yet? After all of that, do you think you're still worthy of sharing the name Harmonia with me? You good-for-nothing boy! To start with, I spurred N into pursuing ideals. The reason we reawakened the legendary Pokemon now was to give my Team Plasma more power. Power to control the fearful masses. That at least was well done. Yo, shit is still going down. Holy fuck. After saying you had to put your beliefs on the line in battle to see which one chosen by the legendary Pokemon was the true hero, you lost to an ordinary trainer. There is such a thing as being too stupid. Add it up. And you are nothing more than a warped, defective boy who knows nothing but Pokemon. Vinny, I will never, I never would have thought the legendary Pokemon would choose a trainer like you. It caught me completely off guard. That doesn't change my goal. My plans have not been disturbed. In order to rule the world utterly, in order to manipulate the hearts of people who know nothing, I will have N be the king of Team Plasma. But for that to work, you since... But you, since you know the truth, you must be eliminated. Yo, it is going down right now. Rule the world. Wasn't Team Plasma's goal to liberate Pokemon? This man, whenever he, whenever he starts pacing, you know shit's about to go down. That was a convenient lie that I need to create, Team Plasma. Use your head. What's to get? What's to be gained from letting go of useful things like Pokemon? Certainly manipulating Pokemon helps people expand their possibilities, that much I can agree with. So it naturally follows that only I should be able to use Pokemon. I'm so fucking paranoid right now that the entire ending of this episode was ruined because of my startup disc only being full. I am so paranoid and I cannot wait to see the damn file. I really, really hope that there was no lag. With my luck, there's gonna be lag and the entire ending of this episode is gonna be ruined, but let's just be positive and hope that nothing bad would happen and let's focus on the dialogue at hand here. You fool! That's a ridiculous idea! You can say whatever you want a Pokemon, even if it is revered as a deity, is just... It's still just a Pokemon, Vinny. So what if it shows you? That doesn't mean you're a threat. Come on now, you'll face me in battle! I can't wait to see the look on your face when you've lost all hope. No fucking way. Vinny! Yes, N? I won't allow anyone to stop me no matter who does what! Another battle?! Oh my god, welcome to the two hour of power, holy fuck! This man's sprite- okay, we're actually in a lot of trouble right now. Okay, he's gonna start off with a Spinda, that's totally fine. Who's leading off? Hunter. Hunter is dead! Hunter is dead! I know we're healed, but Hunter is dead! No, we have to immediately switch out, Hunter is dead, we cannot use Hunter in this battle. Let's go right out to Andrew, let's go right out to Andrew. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did not see this coming at all. 
I cannot believe we have another battle. This is fucking madness. Double edge, that's fine. We're gonna eat that up, eat that up, eat that, eat that, eat that. Yo, this isn't even music right now. This is drums. Oh, wait, I hear a little bit of a melody kicking up. Ooh, ah, that's clean right there. All right, let me go for... Let's go right for the discharge. Let's hit this thing with our most powerful attack. We are still above level right now. We are still over leveled. Not over leveled, but we're at a higher level than this thing. Down goes the spinda. We did not win the Nuzlocke yet, my dudes. I thought we won the Nuzlocke, but it turns out we have not won this Nuzlocke yet. Here comes a by barrel. I have to be very careful that this thing doesn't start going for rollouts. I'm going for the discharge right off the bat. Amnesia. Okay, Amnesia's gonna raise your special attacking stat, correct? I believe special defense stat. Okay, that's fine. So this is gonna do not as much as it would have. Good amount of damage, good amount of damage. Let's go for another discharge. Full restore, that's fine. Yo, this music is fucking insane right now. It's honestly kind of scary. Holy shit! Ooh, I thought we had a bit of a high roll there. He withdrew. Why would he save that? The plays. The plays that this man is making. I'm staying in. I'm going for the flash cannon. Why does he keep withdrawing? Pachirisu! Okay, so far he hasn't have that, that good of Pokemon. The Electros is good. But other than that, I'm not seeing anyone that's going to really give us too much of a problem here. Wow, that was a nice play right there. I don't even know what typing this thing is. Is it an, is it an electric type? I'm going for the discharge. We're going to see... Ooh, we're both going for discharge. So this is an electric type. I mean, luckily for us, this thing is not going to do diddly squat. It's going to do nothing to us. Our discharge should do a decent amount of damage, even though this thing is an electric type. Okay, so we should just stay in. I have a feeling we should just stay in. I feel like once I switch out, he's going to switch out. We can eat up the discharges. We're going to be absolutely fine. Yo, these drums got me feeling some type of way. We're paralyzed. We can't move. You got to be fucking kidding me. All right, let's do this. Let's go on over to Dobbs to take down this Pachirisu. I hope you stay in with the Pachirisu, Getsus. All along, Getsus was going to be the final boss that we face. I cannot even believe this. I cannot even believe the events that have transpired in transpired in this episode. That was a fucking crit. All right, we are going to outspeed this thing. We better fucking outspeed this thing. I'm going for the flamethrower. This better not kill. This better not fucking kill. Yes, Dobbs! Eat it up, my dude! This better fucking kill the Pachirisu. Good. Okay. Everything is fine. We're fine. It's fine. Ace Master grows to level 44. By Barrel is coming in. Okay, I need a fast Pokemon. Angela's dead. I was going to use the Aqua Jet. Fuck! Do I have any Pokemon that have priority? Is it saying Getsis? Oh my god, that's wild. Honestly, I want to go out to Kevin. I feel like Kevin could take this thing down. Let's go out to Kevin. Let's go right out to Kevin, baby. Let's fucking do this. Now keep in mind, Dugong and Yuxi are both dead, so we cannot use them in this battle at all. This thing is at super low health. Let's go for the X-Scissor. He did not go for the full restore, so I was going to take that turn to actually heal up Dobbs. I really did think about it, but he did not go for the full restore. What's going to come in next? The Electros. Okay, I'm going to stay in. How many Pokemon does he have left after this Electros? I cannot remember. I'm just going to go right for the X-Scissor. We do outspeed. Yo, Electros, really cool Pokemon. I love how in this game it looks like it has feet. It has like these little flippers. Discharge. We're going to eat that up. I'm not worried about the Discharge. I'm really not worried. That crit mattered! No! <laughs> he killed Kevin Durant! He was the MVP of the team. I'm actually so upset that that just happened. He killed Kevin Durant. I will never forgive you for that! I can't even believe Kevin Durant just died. That crit fucking mattered. It fucking mattered! I, I am, I am... The anger that's within my body right now... I can't even describe it to you guys. And I swear if that, if the file got messed up, if the file got messed up because my fucking hard drive got filled, I'm gonna lose my fucking bananas. My bananas are gonna be lost all over town. Can you guys come help me find my fucking bananas? Honchcrow, send it in. 
This music is this music is freaking me the fuck out. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's freaking me the fuck out. This is a Pokemon game. I'm not supposed to be this nervous for the last final battle. <sighs> Kevin Durant, no! We lost three Pokemon. We have three left. Down goes the Honchkrow. Is this the final Pokemon? Please tell me this was the fucking final Pokemon. Please. For Alligator. That's fine. That's totally fine. We can hit this thing with a super effective discharge. That is fine. Let's go for a discharge. Going for Screech. We avoided it! Yes, Andrew! MVP, baby! This has to be a 1 hit KO, right? It has to be. Was that the final Pokemon? I'm losing track. Ace Master goes to level 45. I mean, I think we won the Nuzlocke now. I don't even know. Another challenger could fucking pop right in. Oh my goodness. What? I created the Team Plasma with my own hands. I am absolutely perfect. All right, we got perfect cell over here. I am perfection. I am the perfect ruler of a perfect new world. Now, N, do you still think Pokemon and people should be separated? He's thinking about it. Mwahaha! <laughs> Since I couldn't become the hero and obtain the legendary Pokemon myself, I prepared someone for that purpose. N! He's nothing more than a freak without a human heart. Do you think you're going to get through to a warped person like that? Man, this guy's an asshole. Alder! It's a waste of valuable time listening to him ramble on. He's the one without a human heart. You're right. He's truly pitiful. N! I'm sure you have much to think about. I know you were not pursuing ideals because of Getsit's manipulation. But because your heart was really inspired, this is why you were able to meet the legendary Pokemon. But I have no right to be the hero. Is that so? What you and that legendary Pokemon are going to do from now on, that's important, wouldn't you say? It's not about the past, my dude. It's about the here and now. Acting like you understand, up until now we've been fighting each other over our beliefs. Yet despite that, why? And... Even if we don't understand each other, that's not a reason to reject each other. Yo, this is getting deep. I love this dialogue right here. There are two sides to any argument. Is there one point of view that has all the answers? Give it some thought. Yo, put this man behind bars. Not the cool bars where you rhyme and you have, you know, the hashtag bars. Shout out the Shady Penguin. Bars as in put this man to fucking prison. Damn. Ooh, happy music. That's what I like. I want to talk to you about something. Yo, stop it. I'm going to fucking cry right now. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, and Don't give me this really adorable ending. Where are we going? Are we about to waddle around and make new friends? I really hope the file didn't get fucked up. I, you guys don't even understand how nervous I am. It's about when I first met you in Akuma Luma Town. I still can't pronounce it. I was shocked when I heard that your Pokemon was saying. I was shocked because that Pokemon said it liked you. It said it wanted to be with you. Yo, this is too deep for me, my dudes. This is too deep. We are in uncharted waters. I can't stand in the deep end at my community pool. And you expect me to stand at the deep end here? I couldn't understand it. I couldn't believe there were Pokemon that liked people. Because up until that moment, I'd never known a Pokemon like that. The longer my journey continued, the more unsure I became. All I kept meeting were Pokemon and people who communicated with one another and helped one another. That's why I needed to confirm my beliefs by battling with you. I wanted to confront you. Hero to hero. I needed that more than anything. This might be the longest Let's Play episode I've ever recorded on my channel, and I am fucking loving it. There's no way a person like me, someone who understands only Pokemon, no. Actually, I didn't understand them either. No way I could measure up to you when you had met so many Pokemon and were surrounded by friends. The champion has forgiven me. And what I should do now is something that I should... That I'll have to decide for myself. Is he going to release it? Vinny! I love these cutscenes, man. You said you have a dream. That dream, make it come true. Make your wonderful dream a reality, and it will become your truth. Vinny, if anyone can, it's you. The fucking feels, man! He just spoke directly to my heart! Well then. Farewell. Take care of yourself, Ann. Wow! Wow! My dudes, I just got fucking chills! What a game! Oh my god! What a game! What time is it right now? It is 4.31. What a fucking game. What a fucking game! Guys, I don't even know what to say. 
this whole thing had the most genuine of reactions. Like, first time I've ever seen any of this, first time I've played any of this, this game has been nothing, this series has been nothing but an absolute pleasure. I love you guys so much, and I just gotta say thank you so much for the overwhelming support on this series. You guys came through on every single episode from start to finish. You guys came through with that support. You know, for those of you that don't know and you're just tuning into this series, I highly recommend you go back and watch it, but we actually lost this series early on, and we decided to restart from the very beginning, and here we are now, champions of this game, Here's another Nuzlocke win that we can add under our belt. I could not believe that we did this. Yo, look at this man, he's so powerful. I just, I can't believe we did it, man. Now, I know Dugong, Yuxi, and Durant passed away in this episode, but you know what, their loss, their loss was not in vain. We did it, we fucking won with Dobbs, Andrew, and Ace Master, those three Pokemon with the last Pokemon on our squad. They did an amazing job. I just, I always get so emotional at the end of a series, man. Like when the credits are rolling and I'm just talking to you guys, I just, what can I say, man? Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, I will continue to work as hard as I possibly can to bring you guys the best content that I can possibly create. I will try my best to be more consistent. I will try my best to make the best episodes possible for you guys. I will try my best to stream much more consistently and bring you guys the most high quality of streams. And this seems like it's a little bit of a cutscene right here. So let's just shut the fuck up and let's check this out. Yo. Saving, do not turn off the power. I will not turn off the power. I have a feeling it's going to take us right back to the title screen right now. Vinny saved the game. Or maybe... There it is. There's the, the end screen that we all love so much. Oh my goodness. So I'm hoping that the, the end screen won't move until I click the A button. Because I just want to talk to you guys for a little bit. Um, This episode was insane. My mind was literally all over the place. Motherfucker, it's starting the title screen back up. Well, it's fitting that this is where we started and this is where we're going to end. Um, What I'm going to do though is just click the A button, and I'm gonna just jump back into this game um, wherever we may end up. You know what? No, I'm gonna keep it right here on this screen. So now we have the battle competition uh, option, which is pretty cool, but check that out. We've seen 109... No, we've caught 109 Pokemon? No, there's no way we've caught 109. We've seen 109 Pokemon. It took us 36 hours and 20 minutes to beat this game. We have all eight badges. Of course, we are Elite Four champions. We are the champion of the Unova region, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad there's no music right now because I just want to kick back and, and, and talk to you guys. Um, this series was absolutely unbelievable. And I want to thank you guys so much again for the for the support from day one till right now. The support on this series has been absolutely mind-blowing. And I cannot thank you guys enough for, for letting me live my dream come true of being a YouTuber. And it's all thanks to you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this finale episode. Like I said, my mind was literally all over the place. But you know what? I think it was a solid episode. I thought the commentary was on point. I thought it was one of the best finale episodes that we've had on the channel. Let me know in the comments down below your feedback. And like I've been telling you guys, the GFX for the new series that is going to start very soon. I'm not going to tell you guys when, but it is going to start very soon. The GFX are done. The art is ready to go. And I'm very excited to get that new series started for you guys. And you guys know how I like to do it. I like to end a series. I like to start a series very, very soon. I love to start the new series, like, right after we end the old series, but I cannot believe we're done with Pokemon Black. This is truly amazing. This episode was over an hour and 40 minutes. With the grinding montage, it's gonna be, like, an hour and 45, an hour 50, which is fucking crazy, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I wanted to make sure I did the finale in one episode, and you guys weren't kidding. This was definitely, definitely the longest finale that I have ever done, and it was a great fucking time. A lot of twists, a lot of turns, a lot of surprise attacks from Getsis and End, and it was fucking amazing. Guys, I could sit here, I could talk and go on and on all day thanking you guys for the love and support. I'm gonna wrap it up right now and just say, I love you guys so much. I really hope that the file did not get corrupted. I really hope that there is not gonna be any lag in the recording. If there is, I'm gonna be so upset. I honestly don't know what I wanna do because... If that's the case, I can't re-record this. This was my genuine reaction. It's the first time that I played through this game. I don't want to re-record. 
I want to keep it the way it is. So hopefully there won't be too much going wrong with it. Hopefully my computer warned me about my startup disk space being full before it started to lag. And let's just hope for the best. You know what I'm saying? But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the love and support. And we will be starting a new series on the channel very soon. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Vinny to stay up to date whenever we're going to go live, whenever we're going to upload a new video and whenever we're going to upload the new series. I will let you guys know on Twitter about that. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time, which is going to be a brand new adventure, a brand new series. Of course, it's going to be a randomized Nuzlocke. Again, I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave a comment. Here comes the outro. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.